What was it about the game that intrigued you? I don't know. Um, I've just always liked it. My dad was taking me to Angel games. He was a big Angel fan, and uh, I just kind of took to the game. I, I've always been around guys that have been baseball people. All the guys in my neighborhood, uh, we'd go to the park and play baseball when it was summertime. Uh, we'd go to the park and play over the line, and, and we just always played baseball. Cal State Fullerton Titans head coach Rick Vanderhoek doesn't remember when he first started playing the game of baseball. He was just born into it. Fast forward to his college days, Vanderhoek, who is referred by his colleagues and players as Hook or Hookie, he was part of the Titans 1984 national championship team. Having the skill to pay close attention to details and pick off pitches from the opposing coaches, Vanderhoek knew where his path would lead him. That would be coaching. From 1985 to 1988, and again from 1991 to 1996, Vanderhoek served as an assistant under legendary former Titan head coach, Augie Garrido. What was it? What did you learn from being an assistant under him? Oh, he is a real motivator and a, and a master speaker. I mean, he can, he can talk to the kids and they'll be ready to run through a wall. When you play, you have to play to have fun. And you have to let your instincts and trust your instincts. And that's where that confidence comes in. And that's where it has to be fearless baseball. He's, he's the king. I mean, he's got more wins than anybody that's ever coached college baseball. He's a legend uh, amongst his, his peers. And, you know, every, all of us do things different. Um, you know, and I've had the pleasure of working with good people. Vanderhoek was an assistant for 21 years. His resume by far exceeded any other assistant coach in the country. He has coached three National Player of the Year honorees, made 10 trips to Omaha. After the 2007 season, Titans head coach George Horton left the program to take the Oregon job. It was anticipated that Vanderhoek, who was an associate head coach, would get the nod. But instead, Dave Serrano was hired away from UC Irvine and Vanderhoek went 45 miles northwest to be the UCLA assistant coach. During the press conference, you said, uh, experience I'd had in the last three years at UCLA made me a better coach. Uh, what did you learn at UCLA that helped you be a better coach? Well, I got to see different type of guys. You know, the UC kids are different than the CS kids. There's no doubt about it. They're, they're different type of personality. Um, they're just different people. Uh, they take academics a lot different than the, than the UC kid. They want to get in school, finish school, um, live at school, be a part of the university, which at Cal State Fullerton, I would say probably three quarters of the students want to get in here and get out of here as fast as they can and from morning to afternoon so they don't understand what college is. Uh, no idea. And I've worked here for a lot of years and, and, and the students don't have any idea what they're missing you know, with the college experience. And, you know, and so we've taken some different routes on things that, you know, we have the new dormitories, which are really nice. And, and so we make it mandatory that our kids live in there for a year. So they get to know other people on campus and they get to extend out a little bit. And, and then I think that broadens their horizon when they get out on the field. Kids want to go to school here to play baseball. I want them to come to school here because they want to go to the university and play baseball. It's not just selling the baseball program anymore. We try to sell the whole university. Unlike other baseball fanatics, Vanderhoek doesn't always eat and breathe baseball. Finding the balance between family and baseball helps Vanderhoek stay level-headed. I got a lot of things that I do. I just don't coach baseball. I mean, I, I, we work and we do our stuff during the year, but you know, I, I do regular guy stuff. I have two daughters that dance, so I'm very well versed in, in dance. I know dance as good as anybody. I do. I've, I've spent a lot of time at a dance recital or a dance competition and, and watch them do it, you know, and I go watch the dance team here during a basketball game and I know exactly what they're doing and what's good and what's bad and, you know, so I've gotten a feel for that and then I love the river. I love, when I get away, dude, we had a place at the river, we head down to the Colorado River. Having waited over two decades for the right head coaching opportunity, Coach Vanderhoek hopes to continue the Titans dynasty and possibly try to duplicate the same success from his assistant years. But one thing is certain, he is not going anywhere. No, I like where I live. My family lives here. Um, my brothers and my mom are, are still five minutes away. 
Uh, my kids like where they go to school. My wife likes teaching. So, I mean, this is where we live. And even when I went to UCLA, we lived in Yorba Linda. I just drove 50 miles in about five hours every day. With a quick start to the 2013 season, the Titans coaching staff places no expectations on their players. Every player knows what they have to do in every game to get to where they want to be.